uh, we'll take a look at worldwide temperatures because basically I'll hit refresh here and see what we can do and I'll even size down but uh, not showing any temperatures so it must have got a big riff going around the idea to see the temperatures in the United States kind of freak everybody out I guess basically uh, TV stations talk about the weather around here they don't talk about the high temperatures all over the country but we know we got high temperatures here record highs okay so let's go see temperatures and also we're going to be taking a look at Nehemiah and see what's going on down there. It's playing through real fast, so I thought I'd just show you the footage here and then we'll go back to it and take a look at it. And basically what they're doing is they're pulling a, a sled around there. Okay, I don't know if they're trying to get... I, I really believe that you're trying... Uh, somebody, I don't think all the scientists down there, but I think there's probably a power money control thing going uh going to make them look like idiots make them say something about something going by that's not really going by because basically that that you've seen go by there more than likely is one of the labs getting towed on a sled because we can pretty much tell that the shadow that we've seen up there by the station also is a bunch of bs too so this could be just a shadow from the station with the camera on top of it too being projected down in front of this though really nothing much going on I mean we did show you the sun and the supergiant so on that one clear footage so <coughs> and this should play pretty fast but you, we'll get the south action you get the supergiants and again as we get that so that's a new because basically you didn't see the darkness before so I'm going to show you the video that you go back to watch because we know that we've always seen it, that we know that that's a dark object in front of it. Because when you go watch my video that I cut with this action, we just I just recently bumped into and found this south action and made a video of, and we're gonna go. I'm gonna go take a look at that real fast. It just reloads, and I think I'll hit step just before we get the, this to come up. That's the super giants, and then we're gonna check out. We get a guy. Okay, I gotta make a uh, a comment real fast here. This came in after this a com it here somebody put this comment in okay so i don't care and i don't really drop names it's just the idea that if this is a possibility out there at all you know go door to door people you trust and know and everything like that and let's blow that up a little bit there so you can kind of see what i'm talking about and then basically what happened is power money and control put this comment here in okay in reply to counter Arcadius. Okay, so you people out there that don't know about Spookworks, uh, Mr. Soros, and anybody that's ever been associated with anything to do with the black box of the United States of America that keeps you secure and keeps Vino Black to be able to shoot his big mouth off with 100%, 1000% facts and truth every flipping day. You guys keep an eye on them because they're keeping an eye on you and then we all keep an eye on each other and then we all stay safe and uphold the constitution of the united states of america which seems to be and fyi i would say that all this piss match and crap that the idea that the supreme court should hurry up and rule that the idea that it is unconstitutional the united states government senate in house cannot make you buy anything you have constitutional rights and the constitutional rights have not disappeared Okay, there is not going to be any flipping martial law. Pretty much nothing's going to happen. It's just going to do whatever the weather is going to do in space and all that stuff like that. And the economy is humming along because every more corporation is making a killing right now. Okay, because they're not paying for a lot of employees. The government sure pays for a lot of them. That means your tax dollar pays for them. So you might see more jobs get lost. So anyway, I'm not getting a part of this, but the idea that since I will put this on here uh, because basically someone is sticking up for somebody and basically everybody in the back black box never disappears if you are part of any intelligence in the United States of America you are still intelligence for the United States of America or any country pretty much any spy is a spy and the idea that you're a spy until you die let's put it that way Okay, so we'll prove this just so the idea that we can see that people are piss matching and the idea that Bino must get some views because people are talking now at Bino's comment boxes. So comment away. Uh, no profanity. Oh, one little more last comment. Very small world, ladies and gentlemen. Very small world, folks. Very small world, people. USA, USA, USA. 
I love the black box. Civilian Karasov, eh. But Karasov military, you do a beautiful job. Thank you. All branches of the U.S. government in the military. And the Supreme Court, hurry up and make a decision. Because basically, you shouldn't wait until, because you're playing that you shouldn't play. You should never play the political card. You guys are totally separate, and you're supposed to have those scales out and be doing fair. We know life is not fair, okay? But you're supposed to be doing the judicial, just judicial. Oh, yeah, and for one, the one judge that made a smart-ass remark about another's clerks and stuff like that, I mean... You're on the biggest stage that you'll ever be on in your whole life, probably, as a Supreme Court Justice. And you flap your mouth like that. And everything's it, so we don't say anything about sexes. So, the idea, but, whoever the, who's the human being, who was the Supreme Court Justice that made a comment like that on the biggest floor of a debate of constitutional rights, don't tread on me or any U.S. citizen and the idea of wasting joke time on and basically this should have basically been one two it should have been one day it should have been one two three measures in one flipping day and this is all unconstitutional and I, once again the judgment should already be way before and not playing and pandering in politics supreme court justices and the united states justice system is totally separate on checks and balances from and everybody can be impeached okay uh, there has been a supreme court justice impeached in the past and then politicians and everything covers over and makes it look like someone didn't get impeached. There was an impeachment of a Supreme Court justice in the past, and anybody in the House or the Senate can be impeached. Anybody who abuses powers of the nation of the United States of America, and it seems to be that rich power, money, and control, or at least they seem to be thinking that they're in control, they are all voted in, and everybody can be impeached, and everybody gets voted in, and everybody can get voted out. Uh, private se sector people get fired uh, in the representing your country you can get impeached anybody can 24 7 and it can happen again so anyway it's pretty easy to remember it's yes be no black you go to this one and we just straight out show you the super giants and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it here playing and we'll put probably go to full screen and you're gonna see where you don't get that blotch that we had when we uh, in fact, I'm just going to let it, because it'll probably screw up if I go to full screen, but let's let's take a chance. We're gamblers here. All right, there we go. So you had what was supposed to have been the sun that day. Didn't give us any black, and yes, we got cloud cover, okay, but we didn't get any black blotch. wasn't there because it wasn't rotating around on that side when it came through. So let's go to the Nehemiah footage. I think I can speed up through this or there you go. And we had we showed that there's way more than one sun. Okay. And no matter what, the blotch didn't come up and it didn't pop in as far and as close into this towards our earth atmosphere. And then you got the dates and times right there. I'm not even gonna fook a fudge on that stuff or anything like that. So anyway, and there's pretty much what it was there and I think I even do a back draw here on this when the video's playing. And there was the sun going away, and then uh, yeah, we go back, and you're not going to see no splotch, okay? Because basically that rotation around, and as you see, it rotates and pops, okay? We didn't get any spooge that day of the black orb that's there. Hopefully, there you go. See, we didn't get any black when it popped in and popped out on that day and time. All these days and times here, I'm not going to make it waste any time. We didn't get the black, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the footage. So here's fresh footage, and we will step, I believe, and we will end up getting in. Like the icebergs move around and melt, stuff like that, and they and like there is that it's going crazy. Now remember, we caught, and there you go. See, you get the orbital that comes around on the sun. Let me check the time. Yeah, because that's the sun down there. And there's way more than one sun. And then we have that object. And as you see, it got smaller. See, so the camera, it's not no camera effect that everybody's this. We got a, we've had plenty of disapproval of that. And then you got that object in orb. So once again, the Niemeyer scientists and webcams down there at uh, Niemeyer Station, and then you get the idea that there's more than likely 3D effect, that there is way more than one 
and we know that there is more than one sun anyway so I'll just keep stepping here and then the sun's up and as you see as the sun puts rays out you're seeing a ray there okay now we have in the past if you check all if you will watch all my videos if someone can mention the one that we caught the satellite that does what the spook in the plane from the spook works I've got word that the idea that the plane from the spook works down in the desert still is going down and probing the Antarctic too they want a little bit more than from what I understand just the satellite that is now operational and working quite well that's studying the breakup of Antarctic because it's got some major cracks in it so that's very interesting there as you see that ray from the Sun okay you see that back ray there it's not no damn flipping rainbow or anything like that so you can zoom in on that and check that out but anyway we'll back up on the video and we're back and back through and bringing the Sun back to us because we're playing with the video and there you go we got the black orb that orbits around the Sun 3d fashion sometimes it's there and which Sun is that we were getting at that time with the Sun and the super giants as you see the Sun and the super giants are huge and we'll go through that again and then the idea because then when the Sun goes blammo and you had that other historical footage we had a little while ago the idea with that orb wasn't there when the Sun does that or which Sun does that so it might just be when that Sun does it or it's the an orbital of that Sun and when there's 101 suns in the supergiants main sequence and the sun's in there and the idea that they are four to 78 times the size of the sun of 100 of them and then there's 200 stars in the supergiants main sequence that are bright like the sun but there's a hundred of them that are cooler than the sun okay and that might be a dead star or a dead sun or a dying star or planet or moon that orbits the sun because basically when the earth cooled down and earth was a star at one time uh, we ended up with a moon so the idea that more than likely that star there whenever it does cool off it's going to have whatever that object is that's with it okay and I don't really believe that that's the sun it's too small okay okay I believe it's one of the stars that's falling out there's a lot of Alaraf and all kinds of Rigel Cantaris B and stuff like that. There's a bunch of stuff between Rigel Cantaris B and Alaraf. Okay, and all the astronomers know it. And yes, I was backing up, and basically here's the sun and coming up and everything like that down at Antarctic, below Earth, South Pole. There you go. And then you get the orbitable, orbitable, orbital that, and then NASA will end up being the holy lord of all lords and give it a name. It's an orbital. It's an orbital. It's an orbital. Just like a satellite orbits Earth and like our moon, and more than likely someday that will be the moon or something of, or either that or that's a, a Earth in the future, and it'll cool off. And whether it ever gets in a stagnant orbit that we have, like Earth and life support, that we are intelligent human beings, at least some of us seem to be, uh, someday that'll happen. Maybe. Who knows? Only what knows? Who knows? Names. So back at our fresh uh, meatball shots, you can still see the meatball right there, and I think I can get up to 200 being safe in here. Boom, boom, there's 200, and let's see what we get. And as you can see that there's a huge planet or something, because that is a CME action, and then there's an indention there, okay? So, and then we got the meatball. You can't miss the meatball. You can see the whole sphere of it here. And let me give you this. And these are the freshest, pretty much. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom and give you the freshest shot. Freshest. Okay. Immense. The immenseness. And as uh, our Hollywood friends want to say hi, because there's a show on there that basically everybody who thinks they're intelligent, anybody who puts questions about TV shows on a certain show that, supposed to be for intelligent people to get the idea to see if they're who's the smartest who cares about somebody that watch TV or a question of trivia about TV whatever so boob tube so then also get you get that huge impression of some things maybe more like I was saying before an object there and an object there because we see that and we also see that and this these CMEs are bringing out all kinds of awesome and let's get down to the bottom of these we'll go to this one this is the freshest of this here. We'll roll through real fast and then I'll get over to the gray shot again. Awesome shots. 
Meatball, the sun to the right, in space. There you go.